Rams. Touchdown. Time out. Today we're going to talk about trucks. Works for me. Which truck brand do you think offers best in class HD towing? Ford. I would say the Ram. Okay, let's move to the second door. Best V8 horsepower. The Ram. I say Ford on the V8. Chevy. What about this year's Motor Trend Truck of the Year? Chevy. What do you think? The Ford. The Ford? There's no reason why they shouldn't be. Let's see how you did. That's the Chevy Silverado HD, the Chevy Silverado, and the Chevy Colorado. No way. Chevy, Chevy, Chevy. Chevy. Wow. That's a clean sweep. I'm here to prove once and for all that I am the real Colonel Sanders. Okay, just a couple test questions. Is this $20 family fill-up meal enough delicious hand-prepared food to feed a family of four? Yes, sure it is. Mm -hmm. And are you the real Colonel Sanders? Yes. It's finger licking good. Northwestern Mutual knows that life calls for a plan. A plan for the I do's and the I did it's. The wishes and the we're expecting's. Northwestern Mutual has always been there for you by listening to what matters most in your life, helping you create and follow a financial plan and encouraging you each day to do the little things that add up over time. Turning your biggest goals into your biggest achievements. You and Northwestern Mutual, stronger together. Carbs to compete. Electrolytes to replenish. Everything you need to keep sweating. Quantico premieres tomorrow, 10 9 Central on ABC. ESPN, home of the college football playoff. Let's take a look at our Pacific Life game summary. And Mike, the quarterbacks for each side have done it with their legs as well as their arms. Yeah, they've accumulated over 100 yards each, and they're the most uh, effective weapons on the field today, despite uh, the bad weather, the, the wind and the rain. So, congratulations to them on what they're doing. And uh, this seems to be a game now 28 21, ECU hanging on. They're going to get a chance to get the ball back. So the string of 28 unanswered points for ECU ends with the Rodgers touchdown run for Virginia Tech. Brendan Motley, the redshirt junior quarterback from Christiansburg, Virginia. And the wind blew the ball off the tee. From Dowdy Ficklin Stadium in Greenville, North Carolina, along with Don Davenport down on the field and former Oregon head coach Mike Bellotti. I'm Mark Neely. Glad you could join us in this matchup in the American Conference in the ACC. East Carolina trying to beat an ACC foe for the fifth consecutive time and beat Virginia Tech for the second straight year. Trayvon Brown up near the 25 yard line. Brings out to the 24 yard line. The Pirates will take over first and 10. Brown playing at his first game after having to sit out the first three games due to a suspension for a violation of team rules. James Summers coming out to lead this drive at quarterback for East Carolina. He provides the best pass run threat, although Blake Kemp has been very effective today when he's chosen to run. Quarterback keeping. We're about three up to the 27. Chuck Clark, Sean Hules camp with the tackle. Clark, by the way, is a former high school teammate of East Carolina wide receiver Davon Grayson. He's played at Kings Fork High School, Suffolk, Virginia. Well, it hasn't been a whole lot there for Chris Harrison today. I think his longest run has been of four yards. Tied up that time by Sean Hules camp. He's better better decoy today and he has definitely attracted the attention of the Virginia Tech defense. And he's also been a pretty good blocker. A couple of those plays that looked like zone reads 
really are in zone reads. Their quarterback leads where the tailback becomes the lead blocker inside. It looks like an option. It's really not. It's just a quarterback lead power play. Five of his nine rushes for Harrison have gone for negative yardage, including that last one. 66 total rushing yards in this game for ECU. Summers looking to add to that total. Cuts to the outside to the 35. Got a block on the edge from the aforementioned Davon Grayson. They said he was a special athlete. As you watch him now maneuver on a wet field, he's running around, making people miss. They're falling down. He keeps his feet. He gets the necessary yard. He's got the wherewithal to get out of bounds and protect the football. He's becoming a veteran quarterback right in front of our eyes. You know, on our trip to the stadium here today, Coach, uh, you and I were talking, and you said, you know what? A mobile quarterback can give an opposing team nightmares. Yeah, it's a defense coordinator's worst nightmare because in that situation, you're only rushing three. I was going to say they better put somebody in a spy mode on him and somebody that can match his athleticism. Runs for the first down at the 38-yard line of East Carolina. Hairston. Lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage again. Yeah, they're plugging the holes inside pretty well for ba the basic running plays. And I think right now they want the tailback to carry the ball. They don't want the quarterback to carry the ball. And they can determine that the way they play defense. Option. He pitches to Harrison. I mean, Perhaps that's the way to get him some yardage. Now one of the best quarterbacks in the league shines on Monday Night Football. That's reigning league MVP Aaron Rodgers. He'll lead the Packers against Jamal Charles and the Chiefs. Kansas City, Green Bay, 8:15 Eastern Monday on ESPN and streaming live on Watch ESPN. How about that last option play? Yeah, that's the way to get him the ball, Hairston, at least on the edge with only one guy to defeat, maybe instead of the six or seven guys inside. Five to seven on third down. Third and six in motion. Johnson. The pass in that direction. He pulls it down. First down across midfield. Well, they brought him in motion from the near side, and he makes a nice catch, kept his balance, and a first down. This is the typical scissors or rub type play. The receivers on the outside run inside routes, and then he just gets outside. Great catch, because that wasn't the best throw, but that was a really nice catch under those circumstances. Goes for 17 yards, first down at the 41 of Virginia Tech. Kept. Motley, spin move. Still on his feet, and he breaks free. A foot race into the end zone. Wow. Can we say a star is born? 41 yard touchdown scamper for quarterback James Summers. And there were at least three Hokies that had a chance to bring him down. Yeah, and it started with a great read on the inside. I don't know if the tailback blocked or they're just reading the inside defensive lineman. But he got through that hole really nicely and looked as if he was going to get caught. He broke three, broke free for that. And wow. What an athlete, what an athletic move, and the control of football and reach out as he did with one hand on a wet, rainy day like today. I would have told him, hold on, I don't, I don't want you to do that, but he scored, so it's all in the books now. Well, Summers, 11 rushes for 106 yards. When we chatted with the offensive coordinator, Dave Nickel, yesterday for East Carolina, he mentioned that head coach Ruffin McNeil kind of let the cat out of the bag that Summers was going to play this week. And Nichols said, I wish he didn't say that. Well, you know what? The cat's out of the bag now. Everyone's going to know about James Summers. 41-yard touchdown run, and it's back to a two-touchdown lead for the Pirates. Beautiful football. Look at this football. This is amazing, quite amazing, and shot dropping, big eye popping. It's unbelievable, it's incomparable, pretty incredible, pretty good, it's beautiful, pretty beautiful, pretty beautiful. 
for everyone. EA Sports. It's in the game. Buy Xbox One and get FIFA 16. Dudes, you know, been a couple of A-plus roommates. And I hate to do this because you guys have been cool with everything. You're cool with my band. You're cool with that English accent phase, remember that? We're literally out to milk. And that theater troupe. Hey, down up, hey, could you give me a second, please? But State Farms helped me be really smart with my money, and I got my own pad now. Oh, no big deal, Mom, Dad. My new place doesn't allow pets. Dylan's gonna have to stay here. One love, Pops. Start out right in life. With everything from renter's insurance to your first bank account, State Farm is there. Well, Hokie fans may be thinking it's deja vu all over again. Remember game one for the Hokies against Ohio State. Braxton Miller had that video game-like spin move. You know, this one wasn't quite to that level, but this was still a remarkable run by the quarterback, James Summers. You know, there's a lot of time left in this game, 3-4 to 3 in the third quarter, but you're only going to get so many possessions. You're going to have to be very efficient. When you're two scores down, you got to start making up ground. Caleb Pratt kicks into the raindrops. A shorter kick this time, but it goes off the hands of Trayvon McMillan, and it'll come out to the 25. There is a flag. So Summers, his passing numbers, he's over 100 yards there and over 100 yards rushing as well. That's the type of balance you love from a, a dual threat quarterback. I mean, 100 to 100 in the game is really, really good. And responsible directly for three of their five touchdowns. On the 35 yard line, it's number 21's first unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. So, a personal foul. When he gets Ray Tillman on special teams. So instead of being at the 25, it's going to come out to the 40, for the 15 yard penalty. And that's just what you want if you're Virginia Tech. Obviously, you need some type of help. And Ruffin McNeil, I guarantee, is telling his team understand we're ahead, guys. We don't need to help the opponent. Let's keep our heads about us. Well, it was a personal foul on Virginia Tech after Tech had taken a 14 0 lead that seemed to help spur ECU. So let's see if. She's on the other foot here for Virginia Tech. In motion, the fake the fly sweep to Ford. Motley running to the edge. Tumbles forward near midfield to the 48. Tackled by Jordan Williams in an eight-yard run for Brendan Motley. That was a very good run. He had to make two people miss who were unblocked, and I, I continue to be impressed. Maybe not quite as well as, as much as James Summers, but Brendan Motley doing a very good imitation right now. Puts the high stamp and hands it off to Rogers, who's wrapped up in the backfield. Does perhaps get positive yardage of one or tackled by Deshaun Amos. One of the things you worry about when you're in the shotgun, a high snap, an errant snap can destroy the timing of a play. Third and one now. A lot of options here. You want to keep the ball, but if you can take a shot play action, get a quick score, it'll help you a lot when you're down two scores. Motley gives it up. I don't think so. Trey Edmonds stopped by Jordan Williams and Terrell Richardson. Inspired play by ECU's defense. Can they do it again? Fourth down, fourth and one. I would look for the quarterback on the edge or a little play action off the edge. I don't know if they're going to try and go straight ahead, straight at that ECU defense. A two of two on fourth down today. A fourth and one from just shy of midfield. And a flag and a false start we may now turn this into a punting situation. Offense, number 71. Five yard penalty, fourth down. Jonathan McLaughlin, the left tackle, moved early. And here comes the punting unit. Yeah. You need a tremendous amount of poise. You can't get excited. Can't try to anticipate the count. And you can see there, he sat back a little bit, lifted his hand. Pretty obvious procedure penalty. Ray Johnson back at the 15 to receive the point of A.J. Hughes. Let's not forget, even though 
Hughes had it snapped over his head on the last hunt attempt and somehow got.